who was the worst heckler that you ever had? Well, the thing is, a very sad thing happened to me <laughs> because I felt very sad about this. I was doing this comedy show at Stand Up New York, and this is years ago before anybody knew who I was, and it was going great. I was so happy. It was the end of the night, and, and you know, I always like going at the end because you feel like you can, you know, clean it all up, and you could be like, I'm the big headliner or whatever. Well, all of a sudden, I made friend first, I remember. It was the gays, then it was Latino, then it was this one, that one, Jews, all this. All of a sudden, a black guy stands up, honestly, an older gentleman, and he goes, you racist bitch. And I, I, I just go, oh my God, what'd I do? Because I wasn't famous or anything. I go, oh, wh wh what's wrong? And he goes, you don't make fun of anybody but black people. You made fun of me because I'm black. And I go, but didn't you just hear the fag and the Jew and all this other shit? <laughs> Ends up, guess what? I go off stage, I'm crying, the whole crowd, I'm, of course, you know, and the owner said to me, you know, don't worry, you're in a fine tradition because Rickles, that used to happen to him a lot. Well, then I said to myself, how could this guy think I don't make fun of anybody? And then guess what I end up finding out? He came in late, so we didn't hear it. So, here is my thing. No offense, sir, but if he hadn't been on black people time, maybe this fucker would have seen it all. So I gotta say, I blame him and not me. But even now, I do have little hot buttons about being heckled. Like, I usually don't go off on anybody too bad now, because actually not a lot of people heckle me because they know. It's like, why would you go to the zoo and put your head in the lion's mouth? You just don't do it. It's stupid. But I did have one woman. It's online if you look it up. This woman in Vancouver, of all places, Candy, Canadia, is supposed to be a lot politer than America. This woman says to me, first of all, okay, I don't even bother with a heckler unless they're distracting the rest of the crowd because they paid money. I care about the crowd, not about me. I can handle anything. So this guy was being a little disruptive, and I said, oh, sir, you know, I made fun of him a little. He calmed down. Well, this lady just yells, yeah, and she's like typical freaking, like, drunk. You have to do whatever we say because we paid to see you. So pretty much implying that I'm her slave. That, for some reason, from childhood, I guess, is a hot button or something. Dude. It's online, it's 20 minutes on her, and she, you know what's weird? I usually can shake it off. It was so angry and so incredibly hurtful, but I went off on her and I was so mean, and I was so mean, and then I couldn't go on. I just go like this, I go, you know what? Because I started doing a bit after she shut up. I go, miss, I go, I'm gonna be honest with you. You're horrible, everyone hates you, and I have to say that you are ruining my whole night, so I would like you to leave, but I will pay you back for your ticket because you are a total cunt and I don't like you. And I go, I can't, I can't finish with you because it was a whole vibe, you know? Well, they take her out. I come off and I said to the bouncer, I go, oh, so how much do I owe that broad for the ticket? They go, fuck that bitch. She heckled you. She don't deserve money back. So I said, there we go. At least I offered, you know? So I win. Yeah. <laughs>